Hello, everyone. How about that Picard finale, huh? We still don't have Star Trek Legacy yet? We fucking should. Uh, all right. Uh, today we're going to do what is getting progressively harder and harder to do, a Star Trek unboxing, because there aren't a lot of them anymore. But I managed to find this box of Skybox the Episode Collection Season 4 uh, at a yard sale for 20 bucks. Uh, I've only done a modicum of research on this. Uh, it looks like... Uh, so there are 36 packs in this box. Uh, which should be enough for... There are a couple chase cards uh, that are in Klingon. That are supposed to be one for 24 packs. There's also some foil embossed character cards that are one in 24 packs. So we should get one, maybe two of those in this box. Um, and then there's also holograms, which are one in 180 packs. So, uh, there's only two of those in this series. Maybe we'll get one. We probably won't, based on our track history on these things. Uh, but that I'll also say... So, I haven't watched TNG episodes on the regular. I mean, I'll, uh, occasionally, you know, uh, if I'm bored, uh... And there's nothing better on. I'll watch them on uh, Heroes and Icons at night, which I just watched the final episode of Deep Space Nine, just because it was on. Uh, or occasionally, uh, back when I had better cable, when BBC America would do uh, marathons. Uh, but now that I, I bought the uh, the Blu-ray uh, enhanced version, uh, and now I can't really watch the regular ones anymore. Uh, that I've seen them in high quality. I just can't do it. Um, so that was really the last time I watched... Uh, when I bought all the DVDs, I sat down and watched all of them. Or Blu-rays, technically. Uh, I sat down and watched all of them. So let's see what I even remember about Season 4 uh, as we go through this. So let's, uh, let's get to it. I mean, really, I'm, I'm just hoping for uh, a hologram... Is that foil and... Nope, that's that's a regular set. Okay, so let's see. Up. Oh, these... Uh, let's see. See what I can remember about these episodes. Here's Galaxy Child, the one... Uh, where... Uh, the... Oh, that's the one where, where Jordy has the holographic uh, Leah Brahms girlfriend. And then uh, the drumhead with uh, Admiral Nora Satie. And then uh, Future Imperfect uh, with Borash. Uh, and uh, the, the, is the host the one with, um, with the first time we see the trill? Suddenly Human, I don't recall, but I remember that nurse uh, in the background. Uh, Final Mission is, of course... Uh, I thought that was a season five episode, not season four. Uh, is Wesley's final episode, uh, and then let's see, there are uh, some character subsets. And oh, look at that! There's a little embossed uh, Wesley Crusher, and then uh, oh, that's also embossed. Are they all embossed, or is that only? Nope, it looks like it's only the, the character subset. Uh, And, oh, okay, uh, the character subset go along with, okay. So, so, uh, it looks like each season got two characters, uh, and this season, those characters are, uh, Jordy and Wesley. So, th they have, like, a subset dedicated just to them. Okay. And then, ooh, Devil's Do, where uh, the girl pretends to be the, the devil. Um, oop, final mission again. And then, up, the one where Beverly's uh, stuck in the bubble, remember me. And then here's, I don't really know which one's the front or the back. It doesn't really matter, but there's a checklist. Uh, and then, the, oh, uh, is the Lost the one with the two, the, the two dimensional beings that overwhelm her? Uh, and then up oh, there's Devil Do again. Okay, so then it looks like 
Yeah, so each pack ends with uh, one one card of each Jordy uh, from uh, Elementary Dear Data, right? Uh, and Wesley, okay. And up half a life where she falls in love with the guy who needs to commit suicide. Then, of all the pictures from Best of Both Worlds, uh, I would not have picked that. Right, there's the loss again. So yeah, I think that's the one with the two D, D creatures. And then, oh yeah, Cupid, remember uh, Jennifer Hetrick? Oh, that was influential in my early days. All right, Devils do Augur again. And suddenly, I guess Wesley gets hit in the face with a pie. And then, oh, Data's day was... Uh, oh, I just said it like Palassi, Data. Uh, Data's day is... Uh, oh, that's a great episode. Like, the whole the whole thing with the, with, uh, the Romulan sub-commander defect. Like, who cared about that? Like, the rest of it was like, you know, Oh, he's Data Jenna Desora. Uh, and then uh, there's uh, Jordy again. Is it up oh, yet Galaxy's Child where Jordy falls in love with a hologram because of course he does. Um, I'll try to pull out duplicates as I find them, but there's going to be a lot of this set uh, with 36 of these packs. So we'll, we'll see what I remember. Then up, oh, there's family. Uh, Wesley meeting Jack for the first time. And then up, uh, yep, the mind's eye where Jordy gets kidnapped. Up, oh, and then there's two of those cards from that episode back to back. Then the nth degree where Barclay's made super smart to meet the, uh, is it it's not the Calamarine, it's the Cytherians. The two sea aliens and then there's Jordy again. It, was, it looks like Shelby, but I know oh, that's probably not right. Brothers, the one with all the all the songs, and that there's yep, the Data's day where O'Brien gets married to a woman we meet in that episode, which becomes like a huge thing. Then. all right, that's weird. In theory, and oh. Identity Crisis, where 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 Jordy becomes the the weird uh, amphibian guy, and then is is close the no that was a sexy which oh no close is is, is the one where uh, they're they're taken over and Data's the only one who remembers, um, okay, and then up yeah, there's Picard with his brother's wife. And the yeah, there's Jordy getting kidnapped again. Season four was some peak Star Trek. I mean, I personally enjoyed uh, season five better, and uh, we have a box of that coming up later. But here's oh yeah, the drum head where she's drummed. So yeah, that that's a good picture from Best of Both Worlds. And then here, I, yep, that's a, a different um, checklist. I do the mind's eye, F degree. And then, oh, that's just a chronology card. And then, oh, look, there's Will Whedon's headshot. But yeah, a weird thing about, about all these sets is it looks like they were numbered continuously. So you were expected to uh, buy season one, then season two, like complete the whole set of like 800 plus cards. Nope. So here's, oh, the drum head with the, the drummy getting drummed. And, oh! His nephew, ugh. And then, oh! There, there's O'Brien and uh, the wounded 
where the incredibly racist uh, ex captain was uh, is the same guy who was the warden in Shawshank, and then yep, Beverly ended up in the bubble again, and Spot, and then yep, into the universe again, yep, Wesley being unique, and Jordy without his visor. Come on, there's got to be something interested in this box. Yep, oh uh, yeah, here's here's the Traveler back again. More, oh, Vash running off with Q. I guess Data getting beamed up in Brothers. And then, yep, yep, there's clues. Where everybody gets knocked out. Why is my family? Oop. There's uh, Wesley as a traveler at the end there again. Um, and then just Jordy being Jordy. Brothers again. Did we do that? I think. I don't know if we did that one. Next day. Oh, that was always a great card in uh, in the card game where she fell through through the through the floor. And then there's Jordy as a full-on amphibian guy. And then, uh, all right, because uh, the dancing doctor teaches them how to dance. And then there's Wesley at the academy. After he killed that guy. Didn't, oh, yeah, here's a uh, wharf doing Klingon stuff for like the ninth time. Then Night Terrors, and then yep, there's the Cytherians, and then oh, I guess that's just a Mission Chronology card. So there's a, a nice looking logo, and then up, oh, yep, there's them in Barash's. Um, um, I guess it was a holodeck per se. And first. Oh, first contact is the one where he goes down and he bangs uh, Baby New Earth. And then I th we might have done that one, but I'll just show it again. Because I can't remember. And then, oh. Look at that side eye from Dr. Crusher in the background. She's like... Brothers, Data's Day, Data's Day back to back, and then, he, and then, oh yeah, there's him uh, with uh, Wesley with a Dalpan, right, and and Jordy is full on amphibian. Although well, was it an amphibian? I don't know. That was strictly specified. There's Worf and his son, and then oh, there's uh, uh, Jordy being taken over by his mom, who wasn't his mom, which doesn't happen until later in the series. Oh, that's an Aquiel, right? Oh, one of my favorite. That's. Uh, a nebula class and then uh picard is the arbiter of succession right did that happen in redemption and then up the the court case to dis determine whether she's the devil or not and then oh yeah 
look at look at them all going over the footage when they try to find out uh, and they find the shadow of the amphibian guy that you can't see and then there's there's some cupid and then another uh Ishara Yar, who was also very uh, formative in my younger days. I did that. Patreon. Perfect. I'm not sure if we show that, but man, they sure put Will Wheaton in a bunch of god awful fucking sweaters, didn't they? Like, were, were sweaters a big deal back in the 80s? I don't, I don't recall. I mean, I remember jams, but I don't remember sweaters being a thing. All right, here's... Oh, wait. Production credits. And then... Oh, did we show Worf and Kalar? And then... Oh, okay. Here is... All right, let me see. Yep. All right, there's one insert for the box. Oh, there's Half a Life, where uh, Troy comforts her mom. And then, yeah, sleep. A loss. So here, here is our, our one insert so far uh, in the box. This is a embossed picture of Keiko, which I don't know if it's going to... Oh, yeah, there it is. So you see, it's embossed, so it's it's got some texture... Uh, and it sticks out like, oh, look, her hair is in a bun, and I don't, but yeah, there's uh, one of those every 24 packs, so yeah, that's a thing. So we got one of those. There should hopefully maybe still be a Klingon card, and we're, we're still hunting for that, that, uh, that hologram. We'll revisit that at the end, but that's about half the box down. In theory, and then oh look, man! Now that you can see, you can see that that's just a, a shitty suit he's wearing. And then up, yeah. There's Locutus, and then oh, Ambassador Tomalock in the future, and Wesley playing the game, which you've now lost. I'm so very sorry. And then there's uh, J Jordy as Watson. Yep, yep, there we go. All right. So we did redemption. And oh yeah, there's there's the night terrors in her dream. And then yep, yeah, there's Riker about to bang an alien lady. And then there's uh, Tenacum um, coming on with uh, Troy here. And then oh shit. Uh, the entire card uh, is in Klingon. This is this is also embossed, uh, and it's apparently Worf's Klingon stash, or sash, not stash. Although he does, does he have the mustache at this point? I don't know. But there we go. So there's that, and then there's uh, some more Klingon on the back. Uh, but yeah. So right there, there are two hits for the box. Hoping on maybe a third. It would be awesome. We're probably not going to get it. And up. There's Galron and Worf. Which, man, they certainly ended differently in the end of Deep Space Nine than they set it up, right? So here's... I don't know. That might be different. We might have shown that one. I'm not sure. He went final mission. And oh, look at Wesley being all weird. And up, oh, there's everyone not being merry men. And then oh, look at that. There's fucking uh, Gul Dukat, I mean, Masset in the back of there. And then Worf being all super Klingon. And oh yeah, the host is oh. Remember when trills looked like that for an episode of 
Why does Beverly look like the fucking Joker there? Jesus Christ. And then... Did we, did we do... Th I think we've done both of those, but I will just show them again. Oh, and oh, there's a survey card, which was included at about one per box. Uh, and let's see, what are the questions they, they were surveying about? Uh, Fleer Skybox would like to know how you feel about these collector cards. Please fill it out and mail it to them. Uh, and they want to know, uh, what did I like best about this collection? The design, the collectability, the photography, or the subject matter? Do you plan on buying seasons uh, five through seven? What other Flare Skybox uh, Star Trek products uh, do you collect? What other card lines would you like to see? Well, it doesn't matter because they wanted a business like two years later. Uh, then, then, oh, here's... Uh, I don't know, Warf in front of the Starship for some reason? And then up there's... Uh, Kempak being hit with the pain sticks. And then up, oh, yeah, there's Raker uh, after he banged that lady. Now I think we're into most, mostly doubles, but let's, let's try to get through this as fast as we can. Take that one soon. And then, oh, yeah, there's there's Lore also getting called by that signal in Brothers. And then, oh, yeah, here's the card to order uh, sets uh, of all the movie cards. Let's see here. I'll, I'll just read this and then I'll show it. So you could get... Um, yeah, I know. Um, Star Trek The Motion Picture. One for, one for each of the movies or the master set, including all of them. For 125 bucks, you would have saved. Um, plus, you would have got six uh, generation cinema cards and a mini trading card press seat featuring the original six movie posters. Uh, which, yeah, I remember that. And I was vaguely tempted to order it. Never did, though. Cruise. Wesley playing the game. And then, oh, right. Ishara showing data, the weird trackers they put in them so they could follow everybody. Then I don't think we. Then, then, oh, there's the Scytherian's alien probe, uh, which I clearly recognize from the customizable card game set. And then, oh, that's we haven't seen. There's Troy. Look at someone in Night Terrors. Then we do the. Where, oh god, they have to transverse the desert on, to get to the water. And then Troy, I don't know, is she, is she being overwhelmed by the, the creepy uh, alien guy? And then, oh, here's uh, the host. Where, oh, look at them, so happy. Uh, that, you know, they didn't really do trans well back then, which is what that whole episode was supposed to be about. And now I vaguely remember, this is the one... Uh, where the kid lived on a planet and didn't realize he was human and then they uh, like everybody got injured or something and they had to go with his dad. I don't think we know. But here's, oh look, so there's uh, the Enterprise fighting a garbage hauler or something and then there's future Geordi. Okay. And 
then ooh, there's Picard getting a screw in his head. Screw that. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that, but that's a pun. Then do we do Lavar's headshot? Troy just getting yelled at and the loss I don't think so and then oh I don't recall the just blowing up a city and then yeah there's there's the baby uh, suckling off the ship and then uh, there's the drum head being drummed again we may have done, may not have. Okay, I'm just going to show that one again. I think we've done that, but uh, this is just an interesting tip. But remember, uh, that... Uh, they basically did by by they built that chair uh, like on an angle and then they had her dangle from it uh, and at the time she was like seven months pregnant probably done that All right. we're getting to the end here but I'm unless there's a hologram I think we're pretty much done this box although did, did we do Worf and Alexander did we do a different Worf and Alexander I can't remember I got there's like four packs, four maybe five packs left, and they're probably all gonna be doubles. But you never know. That's why you gotta go through them. Say hi, Molly. one we have a, there's oh yeah here's a couple so there's a tenecum and then and then, oh look at them and they're playing poker again and oh how perfect was uh spoilers how perfect was that final shot of uh of picard of, of just that fucking poker scene which they apparently just let play out for of them for 45 minutes legitimately just playing poker and shitting around it was chef's kiss. And, oh, <laughs> there's what we have. Is hit, hit what he he just stumbles in into the. Uh, the punishment zone, because yeah, that's a thing that makes sense. Ugh. Like, I know, you know, we give him a lot of credit because, uh, you know, he invented the show, uh, but Gene Roddenberry was incredibly horny and not really a good man. <clears throat> he raped grossly loony. <laughs> and 
then up. Yeah, here's a couple new ones. There's Troy with a migraine, and then Audra being the devil because oh, she's a woman in a tight fitting pair of pants that makes her the devil, right? All right, two more. Come on, hologram. Up. All right. So we got another embossed one. Not the one I would have wanted, uh, but I'll take it because. Hold on. Uh, then, oh, yeah, we've done that. And then here, here's uh, Dr. Sung. And then, oh, yeah, that's embossed. So look, oh, it's got texture and it comes off the card. So uh, the other one, apparently, uh, well, let's just open this other pack to make sure we didn't get it. But, yeah, there were three of them. Uh, and the other one is, let me just double check here. So, ooh, we didn't. See that one yet? I don't think. Yeah, uh, the other one um, we could have got was uh, was Shelby. Uh, so it looks like uh, no hologram, which with my luck in these things, I'm not surprised with. So let's just go over the three box hits. There was an embossed Dr. Soong. There was an embossed Keiko. Uh, the other one was um, uh, an embossed Shelby, which we didn't get. And then there's um, a Klingon card, which is embossed, which is supposed to be Worf's uh, sash. It was also a Klingon communicator and a pile of gah were the other two options for that, in addition to, to holograms of Geordi and Wesley. So, yeah, that's... That is all of season four. So there you go. A tight, tight 32 minutes to open um, 36 packs. Uh, we got another box of season five. That's 48 packs for whatever reason. Uh, so I'll get to that soon. Uh, I don't, I got a couple wrestling uh, blasters. I don't think I have anything uh, big coming in for a while. So uh, yeah, keep an eye out. Thanks everybody.